Hey guys, I'm back with another video. So, uh, one of you guys had asked me how to uh, fit your Mar uh, your MetaHuman characters with clothes in Marvelous Designer. So, I'm going to show you all how to do that. Uh, first off, you're going to bring your character into Unreal. Uh, so, after you've got your MetaHuman imported, what you're going to do is uh, you're going to get our blueprint and you're going to duplicate it like so you're going to open it we're just going to come over here and we're going to delete all of the all of this right here including her face or oh, I'm sorry not including her face so everything but her body and her face and then what you're going to do is you're going to come over here to metahumans common and common and you're gonna find uh, the body preview right here so I think they have two different ones let's see what's the difference between these are they different shapes so there's that one and then there's that one okay I guess I guess they're both the same uh, Maybe one of them's taller. Anyway, uh, yeah, so choose which uh, body mesh you want, and then uh, the preview one, and then press uh, select your body and select the back under mesh, and you'll get this. Uh, don't worry about that, about that gap right there. It'll close itself up. I think it has something to do with the way they have their blueprint set up. I haven't looked into it, but it's probably something under the construction script. Uh, just compile save now what you're gonna do is you're gonna drag this out just like so you're gonna right click you're gonna convert it to a static mesh it'll uh, by default want to place it under a meshes folder just say ok give it a second it'll convert it to a static mesh now what you're going to do is you're going to right click on that static mesh and go to asset actions and export and uh, I'll just call mine vivian2.fbx you can also save it as an obj so we're going to save it come down here and make sure export preview mesh is checked by default it is not if it is not your mesh itself will not be exported with it only the skeleton if it has one in this case it doesn't so export it Then over here in uh, Blender, we're going to go to Import. And what I did there is I just pressed A to select all, and then I pressed the Delete key to delete it. So we're going to go to Import, FBX, Desktop. I'm going to select Vivian 2. Give it a second to load. I'm only going to show you how to fit the clothes, uh, not to how to make a move with the character because uh, that's a whole nother video. Uh, and there are other videos out there like that. So we're just going to come over here and we're going to select all these LODs, LOD 1 through 7. We're going to delete them. And now as you can see, it's pretty flush. You can see a small line, but that won't be an issue, I don't think, when we're uh, uh, putting the clothes on her. So we're going to export this as uh, an OBJ or an FBX if you want, but OBJ it'll be de it'll be easier. So I'm just going to save mine as untitled under desktop. Then I'm going to come over here. I'm going to go to Add Avatar Untitled OBJ. I'm going to select Auto Scale under Scale. I'm going to select OK. Now we have a character in here. Now we can uh, fit that character for clothes. And yeah, that's pretty much it. But I'll go ahead and show you anyway.
and you see now she's fitted for a t-shirt and uh, yeah that's pretty much it uh, if you guys have any questions uh, feel free to leave them down below uh, if you found this helpful don't forget to like and uh, subscribe thanks